What's up, guys? Uh, Jomar here. Uh, Bobby is with me. We're going to bring you the Santa Bills, best animation for Santa Bills inside, uh, outside, proper. It don't matter. Uh, whatever uh, you're rolling with, we're going to give you the best advice we got about it. And, and hopefully it will help you out uh, in your gameplay. Uh, rocking first with jump shots. Obviously, if you're a popper, uh, you want to rock uh, 38. I think it's one of the best jump shots in the game. Uh, very versatile. You can run it with any build. So obviously, take a look into 38 if you are big. Uh, and then two best jump shots, in my opinion, I would say uh, Dante Exum and uh, Ray Allen. Ray Allen. Really quick, uh, has a quick lift to it. Uh, and for poppers, Ray Allen, that takes them for sure, are, are the best ones. Uh, you think what you think is the quick draw we should run on those bills, uh, Bobby? Yeah, um, so obviously, if you're a main popper, you'll get Hall of Fame quick draw, so I think that definitely will help. Um, so I think you know, if you are comfortable with 38, that you might use it, but I think, um, Exum and also Ray Allen, I heard Ray Allen's really good on, on gold quick draw. So um, it kind of just depends on um, if you're a primary, if you got a Hall of Fame badge and how many badges you got. Um, and obviously, if you're inside jump shot, you shouldn't be really shooting jump shot, so it shouldn't really matter what jump shot yeah. you use. I agree, I agree. All right, let's um, move on to free throws. All right, what, what's the best free throw in the game, Bobby? Talk to me, talk to me. Right here, we go on Michael Jordan, no doubt about it. The GOAT, the man, the myth, the legend, Michael Jordan, best free throw in the game. Um, another option I think is, uh, Carmelo. Yeah. Melo, Melo is for sure. Second tier, but, uh, listen, fellas, uh, again, I've said this a lot in the videos. Michael Jordan is the best free throw in the game by far. It doesn't matter if you're a PG center. doesn't matter. If you have 99 free throw 50. Michael Jordan is by far the best free throw. Really smooth, really great free throw. So make sure you have done all. All right. Next up dribble pull-ups. What you think, okay. Joe Moore? Okay, drill pull-ups is an interesting one, right? As a big, uh, you don't really want to do pull-ups that often, but let's say you're rocking a popper. Maybe you got a little bit of uh, post in your build and you want to jig a little bit on the post or maybe off the dribble if you take somebody out of for pump fake as a popper. So best pull-up, in my opinion, uh, you can have is normal four as a big. Uh, it has great, if you see the animation, it has great lift, uh, but... Um, Obviously, you don't want to pull up that much. So, yeah, I mean, it, it comes down to preference. If you do have, a, like, a post build or something like that, but other than that, as an inside paint beast or as a popper, after that first couple moves, you want to either drive or shoot a midi. You don't want to be pulling up. So it comes down to preference. Yep, all right, normal four dribble pull up. Spin jumper, all right? I think we both can agree. If you're a big popper inside, whatever, you should not be doing spin jumper. This is probably not yeah. a good shot. And spin jumpers are no no for me, yeah. For same sure. with hop jumpers. Same with hop jumpers, yeah. Same with hop jumpers. All right, post fade. Um, I think okay. we can both agree fade three is the best post fade in the game. Um, I'd say you can use it, you know, if you're a popper or even on like power forward builds, if you want to create from the corner. I think we both agree fade three is the way. It's hard to block and it's quick. Yeah, fade three, uh, one of the best uh fades in the game. Uh the best fade in the game, in my opinion. So just try fade, fade three if you don't haven't tried it, and trust us, you're gonna love it. Best fade in the game. All right, next up we got post hooks. What you think? Yeah, post hooks is an interesting one, right? Uh, you know, we got some quick hooks, we got some Karina Bull Jabbar style hooks. Um, <laughs> but they are glitchy though. Uh, hooks is something that is very serviceable in the game. Uh, you can have that uh, as a as a weapon on your arsenal of moves. I personally rock with a uh, hook two and three. I think that's uh, the quickest animations, so it's hard to block and react to it. If you don't have that quick jump timing, uh, it probably go in. And if you can still use the post hook as a pump fake and get that foul call, so uh, it's a it's a serviceable move in the game. And yeah, because you can see my guy here has hook three on, really quick one, really uh, smooth one. So yeah, I would rock post hook two or three uh, as a big man, no matter inside or outside. I think both of them will work. Yeah, I think that's the thing. Um... I think fades probably more for poppers and, uh, you know, corners that can shoot a little bit. Hooks, they work for both, whether you're inside or um, poppers and stuff. All right. Let's see. Post hop. Yeah. Post hops. We already know. Post, hop, post hop one. Yeah. I mean, you got to hit it. You got to hit it with that, that one. That oof, that one right there is killer. <laughs> That's a killer move right there. <laughs> yeah. I think um, this is similar to fade three. It's hard to stop. You get good separation. Uh, can't really block it, so um, 
obviously this is another one that's mainly for um, poppers and corner builds. Yeah, I would say uh, one thing to add about it is uh, post up one. Uh, when you post, uh, hop to the same side. Uh, like if you got the ball in your right hand, you want to hop to the right side. If you got your ball mm -hmm. in the left hand, you want to hop to the left side. That will give you this specific animation that we just saw. Uh, really, really hard to block. Creates a lot of space. And you can definitely get foul calls off of it because people will start like jumping to you to try to get a contest. Uh, so try to try to hop to the same side you got the ball on. And uh, yeah, I mean, glitchy, glitchy pulse up, so for sure. All right, next up. Uh, all right, so shimmies and fades. Jomar, what do you think about these? Yeah, uh, again, uh, we talked about it. Me and Bobby, uh, I agree that post fades, post hooks, and post up shots are the best moves. Uh, and you have those three moves in your arsenal, I don't think you need to add the four and the five with the shimmies. I think the shimmies are, uh, it's, it's a little more complicated. And for you to shoot a, a shimmy fade or a shimmy hook, you rather shoot just a normal fade or a normal hook. So uh, I, 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 me and Bobby agree that I think you just stay with the face, stay with the hooks normally, uh, and just let the shimmy go. It's not a, a, it's not a serviceable move in the game. You, it's not gonna go in every time. So it, it is a tough move to just try, try use. Yeah, definitely a more advanced move. Um, I honestly don't think I've ever tried doing a shimmy fade or a shimmy hook. So. <laughs> same uh, man, maybe same. maybe someone maybe someone might be glitchy with it but uh, yeah not in, our, not in our bag all right dribble moves i know it's bigs but i think there's some good um moves we both can agree that can uh help maybe if you're getting pressed or something like that um so what do you think moving crossover yeah uh moving crossovers uh normal three is a is a, is a moving crossover like a lot of pgs use to get up the court uh we all know that in program uh, you go between the legs, and it's hard to plug. It's hard to bump. Uh, so as a center, if you're helping your guys up the press or something, and you're in a tough spot, obviously uh, we agree that that as a center you don't want to be doing a lot of moves. Uh, fake passing is the best option, but normal three is a serviceable move that if you're stuck and you can't fake pass, you can definitely use it, uh, and it will be a quick, simple move. You can just get up the court and then uh, reset back to your PG, or even. Uh, be aggressive, you know, maybe you blow by them and now you can just go through the paint. So uh, normal three will be the moving crossover I will use as a center. Only that one. I won't touch any of the other ones. Only that one as a center uh, to get up the court for sure. Yeah. And this is for basic, you know, mo you're mostly inside and popper, stuff like that. If you got some glitchy playmaking, you might be down here or you're five out and as a, a big <laughs> man or something. But you have to have a 70 ball handle. So uh, these are just for most uh, most big. So. Normal three. All right, moving behind the back. What do you think? What do you think with the behind the back, Bobby? I talked to me uh, this one. I know you like to do a lot, a couple of behind yeah. the backs here and there. Yeah, I think I'm thinking I'm going normal, normal three as well. It's just quick. Um, like you know, you see a lock, you see a lock blitzing you. Um, definitely just a quick move, and like you said, just get up the court, fake pass. Um, I think that's. I mean, that's about. I mean, that's about it. You shouldn't be trying yeah. to dribble in the half court or anything like that. It's just more exactly. to help help get up the court. Yeah, it, I, I'll, I'll say those two moves are for sure the ones that, like Bobby said, just, just you want to be something, you want to have something to help you with. You know, you you don't want to just turbo up the court without having making it one move because then you're going to get blitz easily. So you want to have something in your arsenal just in case. All right, what do you think about spins? Yeah, moving spins uh, is a tough one. Uh, as, a, as a center inside a popper, right, we, we, we're talking normal default build centers. Uh, there's no play making in them, so... Uh, it is hard to be dribbling on the court when you're probably getting blitzed uh, by people as a center. So, again, we talked about the behind the back and the crossover. Normal three, those two are quick ones. Spence is a little bit more complicated. But let's say you're trying to get a little bit jiggy with it. Uh, you're feeling good. You have your takeover high. Or you want to you know, you wanna make another quick move. Uh, you can definitely add a spin to it. It's normal four is a quick one. Uh, we see it right here. Uh, I personally rock normal three and normal six. Uh, those two are are again, just when I was when I'm feeling groovy, I will definitely use them. Uh, but uh, normally I wouldn't touch them. Like if I'm, I'm if I'm making a move to corner a blitz, I'm probably using the behind the back or the crossover. I'm not using the spin. So, uh, but still, you want to have fun. Normal three, normal six. I would definitely put in your game. It will give you another dimension, and you can get glitchy with it for sure. Yeah, and I think it's it's not something that you need, but if it's something you want to throw in, you could probably maybe pull off like. No one every once in a while, maybe just a quick one, but you definitely don't want to spam it because you'll probably uh, get plucked. Yeah, but you can have a, definitely a top 10 high left in with it, you know? You know? <laughs> no. 
okay, Jay, go ahead. Hesitation, size up. I think we both agree. If you're a big, um, unless you're a glitchy playmaking one, you should probably not be using either of these, correct? Yeah. Uh, Hesse is a no-no for me as a big. Like, as soon as you do one Hesse, I'll, I'll, in my mind, it's an instant pluck. I don't know without a doubt. So Hesse is a no-no for me for sure. All right. All right. Let's move on. All right. Let's move on to our dunks and our layups. All right. Layups. Layups. Um, layups is it- Go ahead, Bobby. I'll, what are you thinking in layups? Yeah, so if you have higher than a 70 driving layup, I think you definitely want to go with long athlete over any of the other ones. You're um, you're big. You can't get um, most of these animations. So long athlete is the way to go. Some bigs, you can't get it. So, I mean, you just got to live with the default big. But if you can get long athlete, I think you definitely want to rock with it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Long athlete over every NBA player animation. I think long athlete best layup in the game. I agree. All right. Now let's move on to our dunks. Let's see. What do you think here? What do you think some of the best okay. dunks are? So dunks, uh, it's, a, it's an interesting one, right? Because I know a lot of people like, you know, flashy dunks. They want to have fun. It's okay. Like, again, if you're playing the game, you know, you want to have some glitchy highlight film. You want to be on Twitter. You want to put somebody on Twitter. Like, it's okay. Like, that's okay, but we are going to give you the best advice that we can for you to be the most uh, successful and efficient as a big that's trying to finish in the paint, you know. So animations that you wouldn't get blocked on uh, are the best, in my opinion. Bobby knows that. Uh, mm-hmm. You don't want to get blocked. Obviously, it's a close game. Then your guy does a windmill, gets blocked. It's, it's unfortunate, right? So uh, under the basket, rim pulls, uh, one of the best animations in my mind. It's super cheap, uh, and you'll get glitchy animations He's probably looking like Shaq over here, and you only need 500 VC to get it. So uh, under the basket rim pulls, we'll go for it for a fact. And uh, under the basket athletic flushes also. Uh, both of them super athletic on the, under the rim, and they're just quick dunks, so you won't get blocked that often. Yeah, what else, Bobby? I, what else? Yeah, I think definitely uh, the quick drops. These are quick. Um, you know, he's going to get not going to be able to get blocked, you know, um, maybe every once in a while, but you're lowering your percent chances both um, off one and off two. And then yeah. I think another one, I think both agree, front clutches. Um, these are definitely super hard to block. Um, if they try to block it, you, you're probably getting a foul. So um, I think these front clutches are really good. And then I think once you get into these back scratchers and side clutches and all <laughs> these crazy ones, you know, if you want to get fancy, um, that's on you. But, I mean, you're probably going to get blocked more times than not. Yeah. Um, so I think definitely back scratchers, I think we both agree, is a no-no. Um, even these quick drop back scratches because, you know, you're exposing the ball to the defender. I don't think you want any of these. Um, the rim pulls, they're kind of quick, but they're still kind of, you know, bringing it back. So I think you definitely um, optional. But uh, we get down to reverses. I think reverses are really good because if you can get a reverse dunk, it's going to kind of throw the defenders off that are trying to chase you down and try to get yeah. a block where they're not they're not expecting you to reverse. So um, I think any of the reverses are usually good, especially yeah. the baseline ones. You definitely want to have reverses on your game, for sure. Yeah. So, definitely, if you can go baseline, go um, – these ones are really good. Uh, you know, the thing you're going up, they're going to go for the block. You go on the other side, finish. They're really good. And I think we both agree as big men, Tomahawk's a no. Windmill's probably a no unless you're trying yeah. to, like you said, get on Sports Center, <laughs> yeah. plays. Um, but then I think we both agree the best one for the player ones is uh, Dwight Howard for big. So. Yeah. Dwight Howard, man. Uh, you can see right here, my guy has it. He knows what's good. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, he's a freak. But um, other than that, also it all de- all depends on which ones you can unlock. If you're a popper, you probably can't unlock as much, but um, you'll have some of them as long as you have some dunking. So, yeah, I, I think uh, as a paint beast, you you unlock a lot more potential on having versatility uh, as dunk animations. As a popper, those the first couple dunks, you know, the on the, the basic athletic, uh, the basic ring ring scratchers, uh, those are the ones you're gonna have, and, and and are good. They are good enough. You won't get blocked that often, so so you'll be good regardless if you have a popper right inside. All right, alley oops. I think we both agree. Just whatever ones you can unlock, um, the best one you use. So if you can unlock elite alley oops, you're a paint beast or something. I think you definitely want to use elite. If not, I mean. If you got pro, you use pro. I think I think that's pretty simple. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And I think the same with contacts. Um, if you only can get pro and only, or you can only get big man contacts, you go with those. If you can unlock elite, um, you go with elite. And I think you, you can once you unlock. So if you can unlock elite, you can equip all of them. So yeah, um, 
I agree. It's not like you have to pick and choose. It's just whatever ones you can unlock, you go with. Yeah. You see, you're getting crazy uh, animation on Andrew Wiggins. Yeah, Elite, Elite probably yeah, is by far the best one. Andrew Wiggins out here getting killed on <laughs> by Bobby. But, yeah, uh, that's pretty straightforward. Concert dunks Dude. and uh, it's just straightforward to it. You know, if you unlock them, you get them, bro. All right, I think that is it. The rest, you know, you got emotes and rituals, um, park and all that. I think it's yeah. all all just for flash and stuff like that. So, um, John yeah, I, I will say, yeah, uh, again, uh, I think we talked about it. Um, we're trying to give you guys the best advice towards being efficient and successful. Uh, it don't matter if it's park, pro am, my career, whatever. We want you to be able to put numbers up. Uh, all this flashy stuff is not something that we look to it. We just look to be efficient and, and put numbers up. So uh, best animations, best shots, uh, best post moves, best free throws. Everything is towards giving you the most efficient animations that will give you the best results, uh, regardless of if it's flashy or not. Um, in both, Bobby, I agree. Uh, these are the best ones. Uh, inside, popper, it don't matter. Uh, you can roll with those uh, animations and trust us, you'll get better results. Um, so that's it. You want to close it out, Bobby, with a little member subscriber? Hit him, hit him, yeah. hit him with it. Hit him. I appreciate you all tuning in. Uh, like and subscribe, and you know, let us know what you think in the comments. Yeah, go to the comments. Make sure to, to hit us up uh, if you liked it or not. Any suggestions, any questions, just go us, hit us up. And uh, of course, don't don't forget about members, man. You want to be a member? It's only ninety nine cents. <laughs> like, come on, y'all. Like ninety nine is nothing. Uh, I'm going to keep saying it. That's easy, easy, easy cash. And you will get the best results. Trust us, man. You're getting the best animations, best moves, uh, advice uh, from, from professional players. We are here to help you guys. And we know you guys uh, uh, believe in us. So just make sure you be a member and, and we'll get you, man. We'll get and you, you right. get them fire emotes. So lock in. And you can get them fire emotes, man. Appreciate it, Joe, man. Bobby, Joe, peace. All right, with that, I appreciate you all tuning in. Um, if you want to subscribe, it's down in the, uh, or a li oh, I'm I, I fumbled that. Hold on, time out, time out, time out. Oh, bloopers? <laughs> bloopers, bloopers. Come on, Bobby, we're uh, smooth. Uh, we're really super sweet, smooth, smooth with it. it. Jumbo, that's how you feeling? You're going to throw me a curveball, bro? I thought you were just going to end Bro, it was like a slider, but it was like kind of inside nah, and you're nah, like, nah. Wiping, like, you know, your hip side. Uh, you just no, missed you, it, bro. You, came back to you. That's how you feel, bro. It came back to the middle, Bobby. Uh -huh.